Hello, welcome to Crafty Crochet Castle. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet these adorable little baby shoes. These shoes can be done in the size newborn to 12 months old. To crochet this baby shoes, I'm going to take yarn in two colors. This is Red Heart Super Saver Worsted Weight 4 yarn. And then I'm going to choose the hook size according to the size of the shoes that I need. A 3.5 mm crochet hook is used to crochet a newborn size baby shoe. A 4 mm crochet hook is used to crochet a 0 to 3 month size baby shoe. 4.5 mm hook is used for 3 to 6 month size baby shoe 5 mm crochet hook is used to crochet 6 to 9 months baby shoe and 5.5 mm crochet hook is for 9 to 12 months baby shoes apart from that we also need scissors blunt tip needles buttons a thread and needle to sew in the buttons and stitch markers is optional first let's crochet the sole of the shoes here I am using 4.5 mm crochet hook. This is for the baby shoe size 3 to 6 months. So I am going to take my yarn, do a slip knot and a chain 9. Now let's begin working on our row 1. For row 1, I will be doing a half double crochet on the third chain from the hook. So this is the first chain. This is the cha second chain and this is the third chain. So to do a half double crochet, I'll be yarning over, insert my hook through the chain, yarn over and pull through. Now I'll be having three loops on my hook. I'll do yarn over and pull through all three loops. This is half double crochet. I'll be doing another half double crochet in the same chain over here. Now let's do one half double crochet in each stitch for a total of five half double crochet across this chain. In the last chain, I'll be doing a total of six half double crochet in the same stitch over here. Now the work has turned by itself to the other side. So let's begin crocheting on the other side of the chain. So I'll be doing a half double crochet each on one stitch over here. I'll be doing this for a total of five half double crochet. I'll be finishing off this row by doing three half double crochet in the very first chain over here in which we did the two half double crochet earlier so I'll do a three half double crochet in this stitch and finish it off by using a slip stitch so, so here I'm doing a slip stitch and finishing off my row one of the sole. Now let's work on row two of the sole. To do row two, I'll be doing chain two and a half double crochet on the same stitch in which we did the chain two. So for this row, we are considering this chain two as a half double crochet over here so now i'll be working on two half double crochet in the next chain and in the next chain as well and now i'll be doing a half double crochet each on the next two stitches The next three stitches I will be working one double crochet each to do a double crochet I'll yarn over insert my hook yarn over and pull through now I will have three loops on my hook I'll be doing yarn over pull through two loops 
Now I'll have two loops remaining on my hook. I'll do yarn over, pull through both the loops. This stitch is called as a double crochet. Now I'll be doing one double crochet in the next two stitches. Now let's work on increasing over here. So I'll do two double crochet each on the next six stitches. So we'll be doing a total of 12 double crochet over here and on the bottom we'll be using six stitches. double crochet in each stitch now let me do a double crochet each on the next three stitches now I'll do a half double crochet each in the next two stitches so now we'll have three stitches remaining over here in each stitch let us do two half double crochet and finish this row two by joining with a slip stitch. By the end of this row, we will be having 34 stitches. Now let's start working on row three. For row three, I will do a chain and work a single crochet across in each of the stitches and finally join with a slip stitch over here it would be better if we can use stitch marker so that we we will know the end of the row otherwise you can do a total of 34 single crochet and then slip stitch completed my sole this sole would measure approximately four inches and this would be perfect for a three to six month old now I'm going to change colors over here Let me begin working on the upper portion of the shoe. To do that, I'll do chain one and I will work on the back loops only. Normally, when we are working on a stitch, we'll use both the front loop and the back loop. So this is the front loop and this loop is the back loop. To do this row, we'll use only the back loops so that a beautiful ridges is formed and the sole and the shoes are separate look separated so i'll do a half double crochet across using the back loops only for this entire row and join with a slip stitch
so now i finished doing a half double crochet across now i'll join this row by using a slip stitch now let's work on row 2 for the upper side for in this row i'll do a chain one and single crochet across in each of the stitches so you can either use a stitch marker to mark the end of the row or you can do a total of 34 single crochet here and join it using a slip stitch finishing my row off by joining here using a slip stitch now let me begin working on my row 3 of the upper portion for row 3 I'll do a chain 1 and single crochet across in the next 9 stitches begin working on decreasing so we have formed the beautiful structure of the shoe for that I will do a half double crochet two together over here to do a half double crochet two together I will first do a half double crochet like I normally do but I would not complete this stitch instead I would yarn over insert my hook through the next stitch and also yarn over pull through now i'll be having a total of five loops on my hook i'll do yarn over and i'll pull through all the five loops together at a time so if you notice i have used two stitches at the bottom but on top we would have formed only one stitch over here so this is half double crochet together so i'll be doing the same thing two more times over here So next I'll be doing a half double crochet in the next four stitches. Next I will be doing half double crochet two together in three more times. So we have formed this beautiful structure over here now i'll finish off this row by doing a single crochet across so there will be a total of nine single crochet over here now i'll finish this row by using a slip stitch now we have completed row 3 of the shoe now let's work on row 4 to do row 4 I'll do chain 1 and do a single crochet in the next 7 stitches now we will be working on decreasing over here so to do that I will first do a half double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet two together six more times to do a double crochet two together I will first yarn over insert my hook yarn over pull through now I will have three loops on my hook I'll do yarn over pull through two loops now I would not finish this double crochet instead I would do yarn over insert my hook in the next stitch and I'll do yarn over pull through so now I will have four loops I'll do yarn over pull through the first two loops over here 
So finally, I will have three loops on my hook. I'll do yarn over and pull through all three loops. So here on the bottom, we would have used two stitches over here, but on top, we would have only one stitch over here. We would have done two double crochet together. So this is double crochet two together. I would repeat this five more times. the next stitch I will do a half double crochet and in the remaining stitches I'll do a single crochet over here and I'll join this first single crochet over here with a slip stitch here we would do a total of seven single crochet I will finish off over here. Now let's do the straps. You can either attach the yarn directly over here and work on the straps or you can do it separately and finally sew it over here. I'm going to do it separately and finally attach it over here. To do the straps, I'll take the pink yarn, do a slip knot and chain 16 so now let us leave five chains over here on the sixth chain i would do a half double crochet to form the loop for the button so this is my sixth chain over here i'll do a half double crochet on the sixth chain from the hook now a beautiful loop has formed for the button. Now I would do a half double crochet across till I meet the end over here. working on my half double crochet over here i would leave a long tail so that we can use this tail to stitch it to the shoe and finish it off over here now i'm going to attach the strap to the shoe over here position the strap in a comfortable position on the shoe and you can start on stitching it up over here you're attaching one strap to the left side of the shoe remember for the other shoe you have to attach it on the other side so now I have attached the strap over here now I'm going to weave in all the ends over here to weave in the ends I am just going to insert my needle through the loops over here I'll do it a few more times Now I'll turn my work over and uh, use a different set of loops this time. And I'm going to trim, trim off my work over here. In a similar manner, I'm going to weave in all the other tails. Now I have attached the strap and weaved in all the ends of the shoe. It's time to attach the button to the other side of the strap. To attach the button, take the button and a sewing needle and thread and stitch it up. Our shoe is now done. If you would like, you can leave the shoe as such or you can make a simple crochet applique and attach it over here. I'm going to attach a bow over here. To do the bow, do a chain 10. do a half double crochet in the second chain from the hook and a half double crochet across this entire row over here I'll 
be changing the color to off white over here. Now I'll do chain one. Turn my work over and do half double crochet across for this entire row over here. I will be doing a total of three half double crochet over here. My work would have turned now and in this side I'll be doing a half double crochet in each stitch. the last stitch over here I will do two half double crochet and slip stitch it to the very first half double crochet over here so now I'll finish it off over here and weave in all the ends of the bow now I have completed the bow and weaved in all the ends. It's time to attach this bow to the front of the shoe over here. the bow to the front of the shoe to give it a more 3d look i am going to take one end of the bow fold it in the back and sew it up over here i'm going to do the same for the other side as well and i'll meet you after i finish this up so i have attached the bow and weaved in all the ends our shoe is now done make sure to do another shoe and attach the strap on the other side here i have completed one more shoe as well and the straps are done on either side you could either attach a bow over here or finish off a shoe without attaching any appliques over here if you'd like this video please subscribe to my channel Thank you for watching.